Hello guys, this is Lego about 255 and I'm here with another Lego review. This time I shall be reviewing the Lego Marvel Super Heroes Bricktober thing from 2018. I'm sorry, I usually would have done the Lego Scooby Doo Lighthouse set. I'll figure I'll figure out what the name was <laughs> after this video and whenever I post that video, but it's getting a little hard. I'm trying to find all the pieces, making sure I get everything right, and it's taking a while, so I'm just going to do the Bricktober thing. Last weekend I was in Canada, and I ended up picking up and finding the Bricktober October thing, so I might as well do that for you since I have it. So let's get on the video. And sorry, and yes, I do have a new light. Using the same flashlight I was using prior in previous videos, but my dad ended up putting in new batteries, and now it's super bright. So, I guess that's better. Okay. Let's get on with the minifigures. First up, we have Bucky, or otherwise known as the White Something. I forgot. White Wolf. It was White Wolf. His name is White Wolf. This is a nice minifigure. If we compared it to the other one, you could see the differences, but I don't have that one with me right now. So, yeah, he has his new silver arm that he has right there. Maybe I'll zoom in if I. Maybe not. Okay. There you can kind of see it. There's all this gold printing showing it's made with the vibranium. He has a blue vest on with a green shirt with some silver on his legs and a double print. A, a double print. I am so sorry about that. If this is the thumb, this is the thumbnail for the thing at the time of this recording. I am so sorry. There's a there is a double leg printing. That is awesome. And there's even on the back and continues in the back of the boots. The boot, but the boots. He has a little gun there. He's got his little stubble there that he normally has. And he has some wrinkles in his eyes. The other expression is an angry face showing that yeah, he's ready to battle. Ready to battle for, Wak for Wakanda. Since he was in Wakanda since Civil, Civil War. Let me just put that gun back on there. Okay. Next up is Tony Stark. This one was... This minifigure is supposed to be from his workout uniform that he is using in the beginning of the... Avengers film because all these minifigures are from Avengers Infinity War. So if I was just at this beginning of the video, if you haven't seen it yet, well, actually, never mind. This the video doesn't have any spoilers, so never mind. There is no spoilers. Just showing that these were in different scenes. Unless you want to count that as a spoiler, then click away and watch the movie and then come back. That all depends on you though. This one is the beginning of the, this and the taking place at the beginning of the movie. He's in, he was just jogging with pepper pots, and this is what he was wearing. He with his run with his workout vest. He has his little arc reactor there, so he can end up going into the Iron Man suit. He has his hair, and he has his goatee there. It's it's nice. It has a lot of detailing, a lot of a lot of camo detailing in their things. You can see some of the different things there. There's some orange printing in there, and some mesh. There is no double siding in the legs, but there is some siding on printing on the arms. You can see it there. There you can see it really nice. Then there's a hood in the back, and if we remove his hair piece, you can see that his shock expression, I'm scared. Like saying, like when he's seeing the Ebony mind Ebony mind I forgot who the big guy is. I forgot who the big guy is. I'm sorry. Next up we have Wong. This is a fan favorite and it's taken this long to get it. It's taken so long to get this minifigure. Well, I guess it wasn't that long. But people wanted this minifigure in the Sanctum Sem in the Sanctum Sempra attack thing, whatever it was called. <laughs> people wanted this minifigure. They have Doctor Strange. They have the Ancient One. They have... Morbus, Morbus. I'm pretty sure that's what his name was. And now we have Wong. Finally, he has a plate. I'm pretty sure that's just a book. He has a traditional robes on from the Sanctum. He has his those things there. It's very, very, very detailed May figure, and it's a really nice face printing as well. It's really detailed. I can't even go far. How there's there's double leg printing there. And the, 
And there's also back printing is also nice. There's no back printing on the head because he doesn't have hair. I can't really explain this minifigure. I'm sorry. If you want detailed expression, this is not that video. It's... I can't even... Yeah, if I was going to go into depth showing every single aspect of what this minifigure ended up possessing, I would fail immediately. <laughs> this is a test I would fail. This Because I can't comprehend these minifigures. They're so detailed. Which is what I love about the Bricktober figures. They give you minifigures that are just phenomenal. Like this one, Road. Like James Rody, the War Machine. This is so detailed. Like if I could end up freezing this, so you can kind of see that there's some lines there. There are thin lines in the printing for the mask. There is red print. There is some red eyes and some and a chin strap there. There is so much metal in the... In the base of the minifigure. It's insane. I can't describe how awesome this is. This minifigure does not have double siding legs. It does have a cool back. I'm sorry. I don't want to. And I don't think I'm going to be able to show you the back. I think I'm sorry. But I can just show you this cannon. It has a little cannon there. It's, it's a nice cannon. On his... I'm sorry. This is kind of messy. On his face printing over there. You can kind of see that he has his... Little thing that's now new with the things, the minifigures. They now have with the Iron Man minifigures, whoever uses the Iron Man suits. It's cool, they have their tactical radar suits, how, exactly what it looks like in there, which I really think that's awesome. And if you just end up removing this helmet, you can see the backside. What his hair headpiece looks like. I think it's. I think they end up going back to the same roots that they end up going through with the original roads. I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, this is definitely this. They have the wrinkles there. This, because I remember there was some complaints about this, about this, the original, the new Civil War headpiece there. How it kind of looked like a kid. Yeah. But this looks nice. I like this minifigure. I like all these minifigures. This is always, it's always nice to end up updating your collection. And Bricktober always ends up coming to, especially since 2016. I always like Bricktober, and I always will make sure I stretch into getting all of them. Like you can see up there, right there, you can see that I have all, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see I have all the minifigures from the sets that I have in a row showing. Because this is, that was a big movie. This is, because the Infinity War was a big movie. A very big movie that's been hinted at for a long while, and it's now happening. And I'm sorry if that's the thumbnail. If that is the thumbnail, I am so sorry as well. Just know that. Okay? Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. Send in comments below exactly what you would like to see. And I will get to the Scooby-Doo things later. I just thought that this video would be nice since I am doing the Bricktober from this year. I have it. I might as well review it. So, bye. You can see I'm waving from my hand. Whatever. Bye.